Hello everyone, welcome back to Healthy Care. The liver, a resilient and quiet organ that performs hundreds of tasks every day, from detoxifying the body and metabolizing nutrients to regulating our energy. Yet, it rarely sends clear signals when things go wrong, making it easy for us to overlook potential issues. This is why liver diseases often progress silently within the body for many years. In the United States alone, over 4.5 million people are affected by liver issues. But the majority only discover it when the disease has reached advanced stages, causing significant and sometimes irreversible damage to their health. Did you know that by the time clear symptoms appear, the liver may have already lost up to 75% of its functional capacity? This is a reminder of just how essential early detection and liver care are. In today's video, Healthy Care will help you understand the early warning signs of liver disease and share practical liver care methods from leading experts. Whether it's small lifestyle changes or important dietary adjustments, you have the power to protect your liver early and support a long, healthy life. Don't wait until it's too late start taking action today to protect your liver and your overall health. One sensitivity to temperature. Sensitivity to temperature is often an overlooked symptom. Yet it's a significant sign in individuals with chronic liver diseases, such as cirrhosis or hepatitis. When the liver's function declines, it struggles to regulate metabolic processes and blood circulation efficiently, impairing the body's ability to maintain stable temperature. As a result, patients may feel unusually cold even in warm environments or they may experience excessive sweating when the weather is only mildly warm. This makes daily life uncomfortable, as they frequently need to wear multiple layers or constantly use fans or air conditioning to stay comfortable. According to the American Institute of Tropical Medicine and Liver Studies, a survey of 1,500 cirrhosis patients found that up to 38% reported difficulty controlling body temperature, with 15% saying they had to modify their lifestyle to stay warm or cool. Emily Sanders, a 59-year-old teacher from Houston, Texas, is a typical case. She constantly wears extra layers, even when the temperature is moderate, and keeps a warm blanket around the house year-round. Initially, Emily thought her sensitivity was due to aging, but as her symptoms worsened, she sought medical advice. Test results revealed she had cirrhosis, a condition that had developed over several years without her awareness. Emily's temperature sensitivity was her liver's way of signaling its distress, emphasizing the importance of paying attention to subtle changes in the body. 2. Foamy Urine Foamy urine is a symptom that many might dismiss, yet it can be an early warning of liver dysfunction. When the liver is weakened, its ability to process and metabolize proteins becomes compromised, leading to excess protein that can leak into the bloodstream and be filtered out by the kidneys. As the kidneys work overtime to remove these proteins, urine appears foamy, a seemingly minor detail that actually signifies important information about liver health. A study from Johns Hopkins University found that, among 1,200 patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, 12% reported persistently foamy urine. Surprisingly, 60% of these individuals were unaware that this could be a liver symptom, with more than half only recognizing the issue once the disease had progressed. 
John Brown, a 50-year-old truck driver from Los Angeles, California, initially ignored his foamy urine, attributing it to dehydration or the effects of certain supplements. But as the condition persisted, John decided to check in with his doctor, who discovered he had fatty liver, a silent condition that had been slowly worsening. Thanks to the timely detection prompted by his foamy urine, John realized the importance of his liver health and made lifestyle changes to prevent further progression of the disease. 3. Tightness in the Neck Area A sense of tightness or mild pain around the neck and shoulder area is often mistaken for musculoskeletal issues, but it can also be a sign of liver problems. The liver plays a vital role in maintaining blood circulation through the portal vein system. When the liver becomes damaged, this function weakens, causing increased pressure on large blood vessels surrounding the neck and shoulders, resulting in a sensation of stiffness, sometimes spreading to the upper back. A study published in the International Journal of Hepatology found that among 850 cirrhosis patients involved in the research, 22% reported experiencing tightness in the neck and shoulders, with most initially attributing it to prolonged sitting or stress. Anna Williams, a 48-year-old office worker in New York, exemplifies this symptom. She frequently experienced neck and shoulder stiffness particularly at the end of her workday. Initially, Anna assumed it was due to prolonged desk work, but even after adjusting her posture and incorporating light exercise, the discomfort persisted. After a full health check, doctors diagnosed her with chronic hepatitis B, which had impaired her liver's ability to regulate blood flow effectively. The tightness in her neck and shoulders was her liver's way of signaling its distress, though it had been misinterpreted for a long time. 4. Excessive hair loss and thinning body hair Hair loss and body hair thinning may seem related to stress or aging, yet these could also signal underlying liver issues. The liver is essential for regulating hormones chemicals that play a major role in the health of hair and body hair. When the liver cannot balance hormones efficiently, levels of estrogen and testosterone may be affected, leading to significant hair loss and thinning body hair. A study from the Texas Institute for Health Research found that 18% of cirrhosis patients reported severe hair loss and body hair thinning, many of whom initially misinterpreted the symptom as stress-related or due to poor nutrition. Mary Thompson, a 53-year-old sales associate in Dallas, Texas, noticed an alarming amount of hair loss during showers and the hair on her arms and legs began to thin. At first, she tried anti-hair loss shampoos and increased her nutrient intake, but the condition did not improve. Finally, Mary went for a full health screening and discovered her liver was at the early stages of fatty liver disease. Doctors explained that her liver's weakened state had led to hormone imbalances causing her hair loss and body hair thinning. By changing her diet and adhering to a treatment plan to support her liver, Mary helped prevent her hair loss from worsening, underscoring the liver's importance in overall health. 5. Chronic Fatigue and Lack of Energy Chronic fatigue and lack of energy are common symptoms, but few realize they can be a warning sign from a damaged liver. The liver is the body's main organ for energy metabolism, helping to break down glucose and fatty acids to provide essential energy. When the liver is damaged, 
this process is disrupted, reducing the liver's ability to metabolize and store energy, leading to a persistent feeling of exhaustion, even when the patient is well rested. Moreover, when the liver's ability to filter toxins is weakened, toxins accumulate in the blood, putting pressure on the central nervous system and increasing feelings of fatigue and physical weakness. It is estimated that up to 75% of patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and AFLD report symptoms of chronic fatigue and lack of energy. Alison Guyen, 46, an accountant in Los Angeles, is a high-performing worker who suddenly found herself exhausted every afternoon despite trying to get enough sleep and reduce her workload. She often lost concentration and felt as if her body was out of battery. After a medical checkup, Alice discovered that her fatty liver disease had been developing over the years due to a sedentary lifestyle and a diet high in sugar and fat. Fatigue was the first sign her body sent to warn her about the condition of her liver. Six, joint and muscle pain. Joint and muscle pain is often mistaken for typical joint problems, but in cases of autoimmune hepatitis, it is an important sign warning of liver damage. Autoimmune hepatitis is a condition in which the immune system mistakenly attacks liver cells, causing inflammation and damage to liver tissue. However, when the liver becomes inflamed due to immune system attacks, this inflammation can spread to the joints and muscles, causing prolonged pain and soreness. Patients often experience severe joint pain, especially in large joints like the knees, wrists, elbows, and sometimes fingers, accompanied by swelling and stiffness, particularly in the morning. Statistics from the National Institute of Health show that about 20 to 30 percent of autoimmune hepatitis patients experience joint and muscle pain with varying degrees of severity, from mild to intense. Linda Martinez, 52, a primary school teacher in Seattle, Washington, frequently suffers from joint pain in her wrists and fingers, making it extremely difficult to write on the board and perform daily teaching activities. Initially, Linda thought she just had arthritis due to age and work pressure, but the pain did not subside even after taking pain relief medication. After a medical examination, the doctor discovered that Linda had autoimmune hepatitis, causing her immune system to attack both her liver and joints. Her autoimmune hepatitis required her to adjust her diet, rest more frequently, and take medication to manage the pain. 7. Loss of Appetite Loss of appetite is a symptom few people associate with liver disease, but it is an important sign, particularly in patients with cirrhosis and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The liver plays an essential role in digestion, helping to produce bile a substance necessary for digesting and absorbing fats. When the liver is damaged, its ability to produce bile decreases, causing patients to feel bloated, have indigestion, and lose their appetite. Prolonged loss of appetite can lead to nutritional deficiencies, resulting in unexplained weight loss and malnutrition. If left untreated, a lack of appetite can weaken the immune system making the body more susceptible to infections. A report from the American Liver Association shows that nearly 50% of patients with cirrhosis and fatty liver disease experience loss of appetite, with 30% facing sudden weight loss issues. 
This factor increases the risk of malnutrition and adversely affects disease progression. William Adams, 62, the owner of a bookstore in Portland, Oregon, noticed over a few months that he began to lose his appetite, even for his favorite foods. Initially, William thought this was due to aging and work pressure, but when his weight dropped by 8 kilograms 17 pounds over three months without any clear reason, he decided to see a doctor. After testing, doctors found that he had cirrhosis due to long-term fatty liver disease. His loss of appetite was not only a sign of serious liver damage, but also resulted in a loss of essential nutrients. Since then, he has had to adjust his diet and take supportive medications to restore liver function and maintain a stable weight. Eight abdominal swelling ascites. Abdominal swelling, also known as ascites, occurs when fluid accumulates in the abdominal cavity due to the liver's inability to effectively filter blood. This condition typically appears in the later stages of liver disease, especially cirrhosis, when the liver is severely damaged and pressure increases in the portal vein system. The fluid buildup not only causes a feeling of tightness and discomfort, but also leads to a distended belly, resembling pregnancy, which can impact breathing and daily activities. Ascites is a serious warning sign that the liver has suffered significant damage and requires urgent treatment to manage. According to the American Liver Association, approximately 50% of cirrhosis patients develop ascites within 10 years of the disease's onset. This statistic highlights the severe progression of the disease and the level of damage to the liver. David Rogers, a 60-year-old carpenter from Phoenix, Arizona, noticed that his belly began to swell despite no weight gain. Initially, David thought it was just abdominal fat accumulation, but as the discomfort grew worse, he decided to seek medical attention. The doctor diagnosed him with ascites due to end-stage cirrhosis, the result of years of hard labor and frequent alcohol consumption. His ascites affected his breathing and daily activities, requiring immediate treatment to reduce fluid accumulation and help improve liver function. Applying easy bruising and bleeding. The liver is essential for producing clotting factors necessary to control bleeding in the body. When the liver is damaged, the production of these factors decreases, making individuals prone to easy bleeding or bruising, even with minor impacts. Unusual bruises can appear on the skin, and individuals may experience bleeding gums or nosebleeds without a clear cause. This is a sign that the liver is in a weakened state and unable to produce crucial clotting factors, posing a risk for bleeding and minor bumps or injuries. According to the National Institutes of Health, about 25 to 35 percent of patients with cirrhosis or chronic hepatitis experience easy bruising and bleeding due to impaired blood clotting functions of the liver. Sarah White, a 55-year-old homemaker from Chicago, Illinois, frequently noticed unexplained bruises on her arms and legs. Additionally, she often experienced gum bleeding while brushing her teeth. At first, Sarah thought this was simply a sign of aging or a vitamin deficiency, but as the condition persisted, she decided to see a doctor and was diagnosed with chronic hepatitis. Her liver function had deteriorated significantly, reducing its ability to produce clotting factors, making her body prone to bruising and bleeding. 10. Skin darkening Skin darkening in areas such as the armpits, neck, 
and face is a common symptom in people with liver problems, especially when the liver is severely damaged or loses its ability to regulate hormones and metabolism. When the liver can no longer effectively control hormone levels and detoxify, the buildup of these substances in the blood can cause the skin to darken, creating areas of hyperpigmentation. This darkening, or hyperpigmentation, results from disrupted melanin production due to the liver's reduced efficiency in managing hormone production. This symptom is commonly seen in skin folds like the armpits and neck, as well as on the face causing patients to feel self-conscious and often misinterpret it as a dermatological issue. According to a study published in the International Journal of Hepatology involving 1,200 chronic liver disease patients, up to 30% experienced skin darkening. Among these, 70% reported that the dark patches primarily appeared on the neck, armpits, and face, highlighting these areas as the most susceptible when the liver's functionality declines. Jennifer Collins, a 44-year-old marketing professional in San Francisco, noticed her neck gradually darkening over a year, even though she rarely exposed herself to sunlight. Initially, she thought this was due to aging or the effects of skincare products. However, as the condition became more noticeable and spread to her armpits, Jennifer decided to consult a doctor. She was diagnosed with early stage cirrhosis caused by chronic hepatitis B. And the skin darkening was actually a sign from her liver caused by hormone imbalance and toxin buildup. Leaven rash or pimples. Liver dysfunction can make the skin more sensitive and prone to irritation, leading to symptoms such as rashes, pimples, or an itchy sensation. The liver plays a key role in removing toxins from the blood, but when it can no longer perform this function effectively. Toxins accumulate in the body, causing allergic and irritant reactions on the skin. These symptoms often appear on the face, arms, or other sensitive skin areas and may be accompanied by pimples or prolonged itchiness. Such signs indicate that the body is reacting to toxin buildup because the liver cannot process and eliminate these toxins efficiently. A condition common in patients with cirrhosis or chronic hepatitis. A study from Harvard Medical School shows that about 20 to 30 percent of patients with cirrhosis or chronic hepatitis experience rashes and pimples, primarily on sensitive skin areas. George Miller, a 51 year old transportation worker in Boston, Massachusetts, frequently experienced rashes and itching on his arms and face. Initially, George thought it might be due to a skincare product allergy or changing weather conditions. However, the rash persisted and did not improve despite trying various anti-itch creams. After consulting a doctor and undergoing necessary tests, it was discovered that George had cirrhosis due to prolonged alcohol use. His liver function had deteriorated, causing toxins to accumulate in the blood, which irritated the skin and triggered the rash. Managing his liver health helped George alleviate the rash and improve his skin condition. Your liver is a quiet guardian working tirelessly each day to keep your body balanced and healthy. Yet when it starts to struggle, subtle signs may emerge that are often easy to overlook or dismiss. Throughout this video, we've highlighted key indicators that could suggest your liver needs more attention. 
along with simple, actionable steps you can take to protect and support this vital organ. By being aware of these early signs and making small but meaningful changes, you can truly make a difference in your long-term health. A healthy liver is foundational to overall wellness, impacting everything from energy levels to immunity. Recognizing these early signals allows us to be proactive, rather than reactive, in protecting our health. If you found this video valuable, please consider hitting subscribe to stay connected with us at Healthy Care. Together, let's build a community focused on informed and preventative health, empowering ourselves and those we love to lead healthier lives. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video with more tips for a healthier, happier life.